Number five, construct isosceles triangle ABC with vertex angle A and the mid-segment across from A of length X. Yeah, I'm recording this. Oh, awesome. Hi, YouTube. Hi, everybody. You couldn't make me more sorry that I'm recording this, Rupert. I could, but I don't want to. Let's give this a test oh, and just so someone can find it. So... Um, I just had a wonderful idea. I think I'm going to send an email to everyone's parents to share with them the adventures in our classroom. Hey. <laughs> OMJ. My dad would make me so jealous. Oh, shizzle. 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 So just to get our head around this problem, we're going to end up with an isosceles triangle. There's going to be a mid-segment of length x. These segments will all be congruent. Because it's an isosceles triangle, these two sides are congruent. Mid-segment means that it's bisecting the two sides of the triangle, so that divides it into four equal parts. This is angle A, which we're going to have to copy. Question is, it's easy to copy the angle A, but it's really hard to figure out where you're supposed to put x. That's what I had trouble with. Now... Having done this, we have five minutes. Yeah, so this is angle A. These two angles are congruent, correct? So let's copy angle A. If we make angle A, then we can, um, then all the other angles, they should make a straight line so you can, like, make the straight line continue and then. Oh, and you are reading my mind again. I think. What's a professional do? What is my <laughs> The question is, can we do this in the last five minutes? I believe in myself. Like, like uh, Bob the Builder said, <laughs> yes, we can. Which one of you is going to be? So always try to maintain a positive attitude. Doesn't Obama say that too? Yes, no, he said, Bob the Builder said, we the people of America can yeah. do something. Well, Obama's campaign slogan is yes, we can. But Bob the Builder said it first. So, so Obama's Obama is taking a fraud. So we really Bob elected Bob, Bob the Builder. Yes. I mean, I'm uh, just going to call Bob the Builder. What do you expect? Okay. Um, getting through this requires some silence. So there's angle A. All three of the angles in this piece here need to add up to 180. These two angles are congruent, so we bisect this angle to get the measure of the base angles. Can we bisect angle A? No, nope, we bisect its, comp its supplement. Oh, but I didn't do that. Extend your line. I can't. It ends. The page ends. I'm running off the page here, too. I have just enough. So there's my bisected angle. I've got the two base angles. Now, these are the parts that I really need. So I'm going to start by constructing a mid segment here, which is supposed to be length x. So I need to copy length x. There's length x. And I'm going to copy these two base angles onto the mid-segment. All right. Shh. So there's the top part of my triangle. This isn't it yet. I need to get the bottom, but I know these two sides, these two segments are the same. So I'm going to copy this segment, transfer it over here. 
It's just the most screwed up design I've ever seen. It looks really good though. And then yeah, take that one. And now I have the base no, of my isosceles. That was too big to fit on the page. I oh dear. What? I cannot keep up with you. And there we have it. Let me turn it sideways so we can see the whole thing. Big and booty. So, again, I started with the mid segment. Determined the angles, the base angle sizes from the original vertex angle, took a supplement, bisected that, got a base angle, copied the base angles onto the ends of the mid segment to get the sides of the triangle. And they go together and meet up here at the vertex. And then continued them on down here to get the full height. Measured this distance, copied it here and here to get the base. And that's the whole thing. And this is on your website. And Not yet. Well, it will be. If will you go be. to the 